Hey guys, welcome to another video of mine, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that's been on my mind for a little bit, maybe two years. Um, certain events in the past few weeks have really tickled my pickle, um, to an extent where I'm, people are watching me film, this is really weird, like, this is kind of just a rant, um, about something that's been a big part of my life um, and I've always had difficulty with. We're gonna, you're gonna guess from the title. Friends. So basically, I don't even know where to start because my head is so full of rubbish that I just wanna empty out because I'm so angry. You can't tell I'm angry because I've let myself calm down before, but before I'm doing this because I don't want to be like raging on camera but I knew after this event happened I was like this is it I'm done I'm gonna talk about it because talking helps and it's gonna make me feel better so basically that was very very not very good I don't know why I just did that um all my life I've always been left out and excluded um, in primary school and secondary school and a lot of that was the fact that was because I was one I was fat two um, no one really knew me and three actually third one was the majority of the reasoning um, people were quite racist um and especially when you move into a rural area like peterborough and you're kind of the only brown one in the village or in the school actually it's quite hard to fit in so i've always been bullied and i've always been made fun of and i've always been picked last for like sports and everything and i'm glad i got picked last i'm not but i am because then less time to play for me in it really that made no sense. Um, but you get what I'm on about. Always being picked last and being everyone's second best and being taken for granted and left out and all that. So you think when you get older, that kind of stops. And when you get older, you become more non self obsessed and, um, not exclusionary, I don't even know if that's a word, non exclusionary. Um, and when you're excluded, I'm mean, excluded on a constant basis as a kid, and things are said about you, and people actively try to exclude you, that is bullying. And if it happens in adulthood, it's still bullying. So I'm being bullied essentially what is what I'm saying not actively but sly snaky people have worked their way around and the people I have called my friends um, have turned out to the, be these kind of people that I thought were different and I've always found it hard to fit in and find my groups because I've moved around a lot growing up or anything and I've never had a chance to make a best friend or anything and that's been one of the issues in my life like I've never had a best friend and I've never had friends that I'm really 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 close with and I still don't and I think that is part and parcel of the reason that I am being excluded um some people are going to be able to guess who I'm talking about um and at this point in time I really really don't care because I don't even care about the repercussions that this will have. Because um, at this point in time, I am so fed up of being treated like actual shit that I'm just done with it. Because it's not good for my mental health, is it? Um, if you're constantly being excluded and overthinking. I'm an overthinker. And overthinking when you're excluded is a combination and it's, it's not going to go well. So I am not um, standing for it anymore. Because 
I've now got to the point where I'm just like, do you know what? I keep holding on to the hope that someone is going to give me a lifeline and be like, stay. And... I don't know, I have friends, but some of my friends that I call friends aren't friends because they don't do what friends do. They don't treat me like a friend. Um, some One of my friends doesn't watch my YouTube videos um, and then lies about the support they show me um, and that just annoys me. I'd rather you be honest that you don't want to watch my videos. Fair enough. If you're going to tell me that you are going to watch them or if you are watching them and you're not, it's just a bit two-faced. So that's one thing. And another thing, um, I like, I want to see parts of the world that I've not seen. I want to experience things before I get too old. For example, festivals and um, trips abroad and like once in a lifetime experiences and things like that. I want to be included. I have feelings. Don't go behind my back and do something like that. And then say, when I can hear, to not mention it to that certain person, to not post it on social media, to not mention it to them at all because they won't like that we're going. Well, let's think about it. Obviously, I'm not going to like that you're going because one, that's something I would like to do. Something that they've asked me to do before. Um, and I've mentioned it before several a time and sometimes people just forget that I asked and I have an interest. So what I'm saying is I have interests and I want to do things that other people do and I'd like to be invited and included. But some people forget that I want to be included. And I know it might sound petty to people, but these people go off and do these things and then I don't have anyone to do these things with. So I'm left without any experiences. Because they've already gone and the people who would go with me have already gone with someone else. And this is not an indirect to certain people. This is an indirect to one certain person that I've kind of lost my shit at now. Because I'm... I'm not going to say. You can all guess. Um, but... The whole point I'm trying to make, without making this a half an hour video, is that excluding people on purpose and on a constant basis... Is bullying when you're a child, okay? When that happens when you're an adult, that's also bullying. Um, and I know what bullying is. I've been bullied as a kid. Um, and I've always been left out. So obviously I'm going to be wanting to be part of things. And maybe I might push too hard. And maybe I might be like, I want to do this, I want to do that. But I think a, maybe a large proportion of that is probably down to the fact that my past experiences have always left me on my own fighting for people to spend time with me. And that's just me, and I can't help that. But there's things I'd wanna do, like in my life, and um, I just don't think it's a fair thing. Like, I completely understand, if you're gonna tell me the truth and be like, I just wanna do with them, that's fine. But if you're gonna actively say, when I can hear that don't tell this certain person, don't because we're not inviting them, don't mention it to them, don't push on social media, I'm going to get pissed off, obviously, I'm angry, because you are aware of doing wrong, and you're still doing it, and so for that, that's not just not realising, that's actively pushing for someone to feel like this, and I'm done. I spoke to mum and dad about it, and they're just like, get rid of them, because they're not doing any good. And I've realised that this certain person has, if I'm thinking about all of it, I have realised that since being at uni, I've hated uni, if I'm completely honest, because of this person. And first year, they didn't do anything to help me. All my other friends made sure I was okay and checked up on me and asked me to come to things and make sure I was included. This person didn't give a shit. And they still don't give a shit. And it's another yawn and... I know that 
partial my p- partial stem for depression was because of this person. If I fa- if you boil if you boil everything down, it comes to this, but it pinpoints and it might be a drastic thing to say, but I'm kind of over feeling so awful about myself because of someone else. Because when people exclude you, it makes you feel even worthless when you're an overthinker. Because it makes you feel like, oh my god, why did they want me? What have I done? Am I a bad person? And I overthink, you will overthink every single little detail. And it drives you up in up the wall, insane. Like it, And it's just awful. So I'm saying this because I'm done. Of um, I'm done trying to play... Okay, you gotta do that, have fun, enjoy your lives, while I sit back and do nothing. Today I'm getting annoyed because I'm delaying it, and I'm gonna... Next year I'm gonna be 21. Jesus, that's scary. Give me a moment. Jesus, I've been alive for 21 years next year. Oh my god, that's so weird, like, that's actually really scary, like, carry on, um... By the time you know I'm going to be 30, I'm going to be 40, I'm going to be 50, I'm going to be dead. And I will not have done certain things that people have done. My mum tells me you've got your whole life ahead of you. And she's got a point, but she also doesn't realise that when you're lonely, you're lonely. Because you literally physically don't have anyone and you mentally don't have anyone. And I think sometimes people don't realise how detrimental little actions they do can have on someone who feels so crap about themselves the point of this is get rid of people who don't care about you and don't care about your feelings because people can be so two-faced about it as well um and yeah i'm not gonna talk anymore because i'm just gonna get annoyed and angry and aggressive so we will leave this video as it is do you know i feel so much lighter just saying it because i wanted to say it for so long now <sighs> see you guys next week bye